Hey there, everyone, this is Al Galpin, Banjo-Kazooie, and, uh, well, there's... I might get this guy today, I'm not sure. But yeah, hey there, everyone, this is Al Galpin, Banjo-Kazooie, and today might be a bit of a weird day. Like, I think we have a bit of overworld things to do, and yesterday I quickly mentioned how you got two stages, two levels that are dependent from a power-up from one another, like, for, like, one thing. So I think what I want to do today is listen to Grunty, but no, but also to um, get to that, like, the next level. So, like, last time I opened up the ice level, I want to find and open the one that comes after and jump in and get that power up early and then go back and stuff. Look at that! That's right, we got ourselves a set of stairs! Ever heard about stairs? Well, now's the time to make it shine. Yeah, this place. Uh, all right. So where am I? So there's the sweet wall that clearly, you know, was made of polygons. Uh, always beware your polygons. Oh my gosh, it's a switch. What am I gonna do about that, blue guy? Wow, you take multiple rolls. You're as strong as a clam. All right, look at that. See, this is. Big foot on it, and you know what they say about feet? It's three meters long. All the time, always. Uh, where am I in this awkward corner? I don't know, but we got ourselves a swishy thing. Oh man, here we go. I wonder what that's for. Dang it, well, let's go earn it up. Uh, earn style, that's right, fall through that hat. <laughs> I have no idea what happens if you go in this passage, but you haven't blown up Grunty's giant stone hat. Like, I don't think I've ever had that happen at all, now that I think about it. I think I always, like, had that switch press before. Huh, like, that knowledge has to exist, like, on YouTube or something, I have to imagine. Alright, that's taken care of, uh, let's go do and do things. Like, there's another wall that needs to be busted. Get out of here! Here you can get some wadding boots. Oh, boy. Alright, well, if you're into that, uh, this is here. Let's see, what else is there? I mean, there's clearly a lot of stuff going on. There is a giant sarcophagus, if you're into that. What's over here? Closed door, sand, a, a music change. Mmm, I don't know about that, it's pretty scary. Alright, yeah, so this is like this crazy crossroad, and I'm not sure which doors are good. Alright, there's another upstairs, so let's up those stairs and see if there's anything we can find here. Alright, well, there's another note door, huh? Yeah, there's that guy, he's happy to be here. Uh-huh. Can I destroy this? No, I'm trying to bounce on the spider zone web, and I'm just flying. Welcome to spider country. Oh, uh -huh. that's right. We're being serious here. Can you destroy this? How do you destroy these? I'm not, I don't remember. Do you just spit eggs? Oh, naturally, there you go. Hey, look at that, it's a pot. Wing! This one, look at that. We can transport ourselves earlier in the level now. We've did it. We have matches. Uh, to create a shortcut, we can shortcut it up. This place is just so big. All right, here, I'm going to destroy this man, just waving his hands everywhere. Like, anyone cared at all about his opinion. So we can destroy it this, this way? You sure can. There you go. You don't need that. Whatever that is, uh, you don't need it. All right, so there's a door here. Very spooky. Here's a honeycomb zone. Very friendly. There's a ramp up. So, I mean, so, you know, Oh, next place is the ice world. Uh, I guess we can go in its environment over here, and that's what it looks like. You got a big old open thing and things to do, but nothing I want to do yet, I don't think. Uh, the music becomes very soft and crystal, and that's how you know it's the winter world area. All right, there's an up ramp here. All right, what do you tell me about the world? 
Uh-huh. Burgers, fries, and chips galore. So that's 450. That's more than what I have. And I have the max amount of notes we can have at this point in the game. Also, there's another spider web dealio. I'm gonna lay some eggs on it. That's right. Hey, it's another pot. Oh, I'm sleeping. Look at that. He's blue green. All right, this one is new. How did like we saw the opening to another world? Where it's is that painting? Is that and uh, I can go on the brim of this hat. That's right, giant stone hat. Oh, Bratilda. I guess I should listen to you because the information you give will be important, sadly. All right, Bruntilda, lay it on me. Disgusting Gruntilda has tadpoles on toast. Is that any worse than caviar? Let's be real. That's basically veal, but from amphibians. Then she usually has mega pie. Well, you know, if we accepted to eat insects, that would help a lot with, uh, being able to bring more food to more people. And heart bags, really? Gross. I mean, yeah, like, chocolate cockroaches is like a legit thing in some places. Man, I just never noticed how much of a jerk Bruntilda is. I'm, I'm a little baffled. Uh, Alright, this I can open. Barely. Like, I'm only 50 under. Is this where we can find the opening to a specific sandy looking world? Well, here's just, you know, the giant pathway. Yeah, we go inside her giant head. Ah, there we go. And this is kind of like her tongue that's in it. Alright, Gobi's Valley. So yeah, that would be like world six, quote unquote. But I repeat myself, there's something in there you want to use in five. And we're gonna go and open that up. But since we're here, might as well keep looking around. Let's see, over here, the path continues. It's a very silly path. Uh, there is another thing over there. No, okay, 2T has things to say. Oh, and there's, uh, something we're gonna need to be an animal form to go into. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, 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 alright. Well, okay then. So, I did what I needed to do here. It's time to enter a door somewhere that is near. Right, so the reason why there are boots here is that, you know, like, the sand is mean. You don't want to, you know, get sanded on, especially when you're barefoot, like both of these animals are, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, it barely lasts long enough, huh? Alright, well, barely is still long enough. Uh, so we got, like, this crazy tree-looking thing. You again? Why are you hanging out behind a tree? That's weird. Uh, Grunty's sister keeps hanging out b behind trees. Uh, not judging her friends? Uh, like, really? You're doing that? <laughs> Fat Hag Monthly Magazine. I mean... Clearly, she enjoys learning about people similar to her. Uh, now that, I'm assuming, is a brand name that I just don't know about. I mean, at this point, I feel like I'm way more willing to give Grunty benefit of the doubt. Like, I cannot deny that what she's doing right now is evil. She kidnapped my sister in order to do the abstract activity of stealing her looks, whatever that means. But, like, don't have to paint her like an absolute monster at all time. Anyways, there's a power-up here somewhere. I think I know where it is, so don't pay attention to everything you're seeing. Everything you're seeing it here, don't forget you're seeing it. You're not seeing it right now. Nope, it is not part of your ocular experience. I don't know what you're talking about. Nothing is going- Wow, I just got this, like, long minutes of just, like, absolutely blank gameplay. I'm just talking about how there's things, apparently it's very weird. It's the running shoes, you may have seen them yesterday inside, um, Mr. Vile's Crocodile Head minigame. You can, uh, basically, if you go here way ahead of time, or if you're, like, dipping through stages a lot, well, you can get this power-up, 
And, uh, basically, Mr. Vile Games becomes a lot faster when you can move a lot faster. Like, it's a lot easier if you can, like, outspeed a by, like, a, a good factor. A factor of a number. A factor of a factor. Uh, but there we go. So this was a preview. The music's nice. Gobi's Valley music is pretty good. There's a Jinjo right there in the sand. Hey, Jinjo. Look at that. I'm not, I'm not taking you in. I'm teleporting. There we go, back somewhere, and there we go, there we got things, so yeah, I'm gonna put myself in position in front of the snow, look at that beetle, it came out because we went on this level, it's like, check it out, I'm hovering and I'm buzzing sounds, it's like, yeah, you can't deny that. Uh, oh, now there's a mummy here? Yeah, so as you enter level, uh, there's two mummies in fact. As you enter levels, like, they leak out into the world. I always thought that was a pretty cool touch. Like, it's cool, but, like, also, like, they're not, like, dangerous enemies that, like, get super in the way or anything. So, it still remains, um, you know, like, like, like it's still, like, not a big hassle or anything. And, yeah, and inside this snow zone, there's something we're gonna want to use in the desert zone. But considering we're gonna be playing the snow zone like in its entirety, like no 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 need to do anything weird about it. We're just gonna be here. Whoa, check it out! I just spun around in a circle. That's the kind of thing bears do when you give them snow and they're not immediately going to sleep. Next time! World 5! I can't really get the door well in view. I guess I just need to go. World 5! Over here! This big old square!